All right guys, so we're gonna take a look at a new way to add students to your class while at the same time only having to edit one course. This is like the holy grail, is what we've been trying to do for the last couple of years as far as um, how we manage students. And so um, what we need to do is, so I'm, I'm here in Jeff Sire and, and uh, Amanda Hines' Math 7 class. I'm gonna work on Jeff's classes because that's the, um, the classes that I got to work with. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go to participants. This used to be called users in the old version uh, and it's over here under the course navigation hamburger um, menu. And so click on participants and then anything you need to do to edit is it gonna be under here under this action um, gear icon. So we're gonna click on action and we're gonna go and create some groups. And I've already created a couple of groups and when I tested this out and so uh, I've got got his uh, second hour group and I need to add one more so we can run through how to do that. So I'm going to click on create group and just name it whatever hour it is if I can remember how to type. That would be great. And since he's sharing this, I will put his name there so they know that it's his. All right. And choose setting, um, save. All right, now, um, because these are all of his math seven only, and they're all his, and he's gonna be sharing this, I'm gonna take it a step further than usual just to show you guys how to do this. So uh, since he's sharing this with Amanda Hines, we can uh, group all these together, but we have to do that up here under groupings. And so I'm gonna create a group called math seven sire. I can click on the right box and save changes and then I'm going to go over here to the little person here I'm going to show groups and grouping and this is going to be all three of these groups and so they are now all under his math 7 group and you've got all of the classes there uh, and so we're good to go so let's go back to groups, make sure we've got, yep, he just has these three math sevens. And so now just a shortcut to get back to where we need to go, we're gonna go back up here and click on participants again. All right, so now that we're back to here, two participants, let's go over and click on the actions button. And once I get there, I've already got my groups now. So I'm gonna, instead of going to groups, uh, and instead of going to manual enrollments and, and working through that, I'm gonna go and click on enrollment methods. So you can kind of see which one I've already chosen and it's got his students in there. So um, what I'm gonna choose is add method here and course Metalink. That's gonna bring me to a new, um, a new option here. So I'm gonna to go to add group and I'm gonna click on his second hour and I'm gonna go and find Jeff's second hour class based on the information that I can see, and I hope it is correct, Jeff. If not, we'll fix it later. All right, and so I've got this course, and now I've got to figure out which period goes where and such. So semester one, it's like second hour, P2, I'm going to assume is second hour. If not, it's not. So, um, We'll click on that you can see it's there just like if we're adding tags or adding people manually I'm gonna click add method and so there it is second hour 21 users and you do that for each of your hours and so um, real quick let's do that again in his third hour so I'm gonna go over here click on enrollment methods again I'm gonna choose course metalink I'm going to do his, I think it's his third hour, maybe fourth hour, but that's the way I'm reading it. I'm going to use that course code from Infinite Campus. Whenever I'm doing looking up students. All right, and I'm going to look up third hour, math seven, sire, and add method. All right, and got those classes now as well. And so that's how you do course Metalink. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to email me. 
and uh, when you go back to your course, anything you add, um, all of those students will show up as participants. As you guys see, he's got a lot of students in there now, and it's as easy as that. One other way to uh, enroll users too that uh, you might have a use for that I wanted to add at the end of this video is it looks the same, but it's a little bit different. So if we go back here to enrollment methods and we choose add course meta link. Now this time I'm not going to add to any um, and I'm not going to fully go through this, but I can pull from a bunch of different courses. And so I can actually pull from multiple courses into either the entire class or into no group at all. And then I can add that method and it can pull all of the students. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and do this. It's going to pull the students from all of those courses, which are empty. These are from last year, I assume. And uh, since they're empty, um, but you guys can see it's going to pull them all at one time. So this will actually save you time uh, instead of doing it the way um, showed you earlier. And so, um, again, save yourself a little time, do, do multiple users at once. I'm going to delete these so these teachers won't freak out and see all this random stuff on their pages. And, um, and that's it. So if you need to do multiple classes into one or none, just wanted to let you know that that is an option.